I, I, I know why there are not that many people here, because I know you guys don't want to do the public speaking. And before I talk about the Jaftex Shop Tour video challenge um, and how it came about, I wanted to just mention that, and I probably mentioned this before, when I was in law school, I had a very traumatic public speaking experience, and it, it hit me even up until early parts of my career at Jaftex, and I just had to get through it. So public speaking, you just can't avoid it. Nowadays, it's so important and you will see that you can sell online and you do need to public speak to do that or you just need to hire someone who is willing to do that. Uh, that could work too. But I was totally traumatized and I just did it and you just got to keep doing it. It's the first time is never going to be awesome, but it gets better. It gets easier. You get more comfortable. You, you know, I have things where I'm doing videos and the video cuts out and you just got to deal with it. Life happens. People, you know, people don't think I'm, uh, you know, some Steven Spielberg or some famous, um, you know, publisher or, or um, movie, movie guy or TV guy. It just is what it is. And as I always like to say, the people want to see the fabric. And that is really what it's all about for us. So um, basically, this contest came about uh, this summer, three summers ago. I was traveling a lot, and when I would, went to visit the shops, I was doing a shop tour where I would walk through the shop and talk with the owner and highlight certain things, and then I would post the video on my page. And it really kind of took off and got a lot of interest and excitement, and it got me thinking, like, this would be great. It would be even better if I was not the one taking the videos and someone else could take the videos for me and do or do them. So that was where the idea came about for shop owners to do their own tour of their shop. Um, this is who better to, than you to do your own tour of your shop and show off something that you should be so proud of because you put in years and days and weeks and sweat and blood and tears to uh, make it great. All right, so the challenge. This challenge is going to take place August 1st, 2020 to August 30th. Uh, you can, your video cannot be posted prior to July 29th. You can make your video sooner and have it ready to post, but all videos need to start with zero views. Uh, the challenge is open to quilt shops worldwide. But here's the thing. I want it to be customers that carry Jaftex fabric that are directly purchasing from us. If you're in the U.S. and you're buying from one of our sales reps, that's great. But if you're buying from one of our distributors, really, it doesn't apply to you because I want to give the prizes to my customer and not a distributor's customer, even though they are selling the fabric. So it would be weird if you're buying from Checker everything and I'm sending you the prize and not Checker. So we want direct customers. And then as far as international goes, you just have to be buying one of our products from any of our distributors. We're, we're a little bit more loose with the international customers, but we do want to see worldwide shops. Uh, it's interesting to see how people do different things. You know, it's no different than the fact that we carry stuff and then we carry American lines and it has a nice balance. Um, we do, you know, there are other things and you may be inspired by something you see in a shop in Europe or Spain or England. And uh, I hope a lot of those shops do get involved. Uh, I assume that the prizes will be enticing. Uh, we never really had prizes before until this year, but I'll get into that in a little bit. So um, here we go. So the challenge is for you to create a video tour of your shop that you will share on your Facebook page and then we will get it somehow and I will share it on my Facebook page and I will discuss how to get that in. This is an opportunity for you to show off your business, develop your video skills and entice new customers to visit you and buy from you. It's a chance to show off. You will be getting people on my page will be looking at it who are not your followers. Uh, nowadays, with you know the internet and the telephone and all these things you could buy online, you could call, there's lots of different ways to do it, but you do need to learn what I learned, which was four years ago, three or four years ago, I went to a social media conference and what they said, I took one thing away. It was like $3,000 for the whole conference, but I took one thing away and it paid off huge. The one thing I took away was that what they said, 80% of what we consume on video, on, on social media, in 2020 will be video. 
So 80% of what we're consuming now on social media is video. And that got the light bulb going off in my head. And that's when I started doing video. And that's when I started encouraging you to do videos. I want my shops and our partners, our customers, you guys to be successful. And this is part of it. I know it sucks and it sucks to get in front of the camera and it's not easy. There is no doubt in my mind. I don't have any qualms about it because I once had fear of public speaking. I forgot what that word is. I used it one time. But anyway, so videotape a Facebook Live tour of your shop or pre-record a video tour of your shop. Keep in mind that Facebook Live videos perform way better than pre-recorded videos. But keep in mind too that if you start a video and it's live, you don't have to post it. So if something gets screwed up, you could always just cut it off and delete it and start over again. And sometimes you just gotta do that. I know it stinks. I mean, there's times I go to South Carolina and do a video with Vanessa. It's, an, it's a half hour long and she says, oops, the sound wasn't on and I wanna go jump out the window, but it happens, life happens and you gotta just deal with it. But you gotta cover your bases and just practice and be comfortable and make sure you have someone there helping you who's good with the video so you're good to go. But so here's the important thing. So then you're gonna post the video to your shop's page on Facebook. We're not doing Instagram this year. Then, this is a new requirement, so listen up carefully. Yes, glossophobia, exactly. Listen up carefully, this is the new requirement. You need to go to Facebook and share your posted Facebook video link in an email, an email to jennifer at jafftex.com. And by the way, if you go to Scott, uh, www.scottfortunoff.com, the post that I have up now is all about the contest and all about the rules, which I'm discussing here. I kind of am pulling out bits and pieces and ad-libbing uh, just so I don't read the whole thing and it's not super boring. So last thing, just again, share your Facebook post video link. Share the link with jennifer at jafftex.com and then we will know the order that they came in and we will post them that way. The winning video is the one with the most views on my page. The most views on my page. So uh, now I'm gonna give you some suggestions and advice and one thing I like to say to you is every time I do a video, I always empty out my pockets, I remove any jewelry, I even take off my watch, I, I get rid of my um I get rid of my phone, I you know, everything. I put the do not disturb on my phone. You need to set yourself up to succeed. Cover all your bases. Think about all the problems that might arise and address them beforehand. Anticipate problems before they happen. Videos should be 10 minutes, no more, no more, it gets too long, and my page is gonna be filled up with a ton of videos, so um, if it's longer than 10, you're, not, you're gonna lose people's interest. Consider using a timer, you might wanna do a practice run, and keep in mind that sometimes less is more. Make sure in the beginning you introduce yourself. I always introduce myself, it's important to mention your address. You should do that at least twice, in the beginning and in the end and sometime in between. Your name, your address, your phone number, your website address, and any nearby highways or landmarks. You also might mention restaurants or other places like, hey, I'm coming down with my husband. What can I do with, where can I lose my husband for a couple hours? Is there a bowling alley? Is there a bar? Is there a barbershop? Is there a, an arcade? Is there a park bench? Is there a bed for him to take a nap on? Whatever it is, all of those things are important. They totally are. Um, so again, you wanna mention those things a couple times throughout so people don't forget and they hear. You might even say, you know, at some point, take out a pen and paper and write this down. You know, not everyone's gonna remember any, everything you say. I also like to start the videos showing the signs on your door. So in other words, it says, you know, Monday through Friday, these are the hours we're open. That's a perfectly, if it's clear, it's concise, it's easy, you don't have to say it. A picture says a thousand words and a good picture says more than a thousand words. So signage is important. Don't show any signs that have like a zillion words and people have to read and, you know, by the time you have it up and down, you know, no one could even read the whole thing from beginning to end. Um, you might even want to mention the, your store manager's name or your employee's name and introduce your employees and say, hey, this is Joanne and she's going to be here to help you. She is our expert on 108. She's our expert in blocks of the month. Whatever it is, she is there. Make people have a, a, a um, connection with you. Names are important. Say something about, about Joanne. What is it that she does? Show a quilt. 
Do something, make memories, make people remember things from your video where they go back and they watch all my videos for the month of August and they say, oh my God, I remember that one video out of, you know, 500 wishful thinking. Um, you never know. So, all right, here we go. Try to move the camera slowly so as not to make everyone motion sick. Consider using a selfie stick. There is so many technologi technological logical advances and apparatus or apparati or whatever, and they're worth the investment. If you're gonna commit to doing videos, you should have the equipment. I finally got a good uh, selfie stand here. That's good. I have a mic, I, you know, I have all the stuff. My mic broke, I need a new one, but take the time and spend a little bit of money, make an investment so you could do this right and do it well. Uh, if you have the equipment, use it, practice, test run, make sure you know all the in intricacies of the equipment so you don't, you know, you're not learning it while you're doing your first Facebook Live to show the world your amazing quilt shop. Unlike me, speak clearly, slowly, and loud enough for everyone to hear. Make sure the internet and Wi-Fi connections are strong. If it goes off for some reason, just stop and delete and start over again. It's not a big deal. You'll have a couple people watching on Facebook Live and they'll be slightly disappointed, but you gotta put this video out and make it good so you are proud of it and you feel good about it. If you stumble a little, just keep going. Don't get all bent out of shape. Just keep going, plug away, move forward. You could always fix errors or, you know, if you misspoke and you say, uh, you know, something is red and it's really blue, you could always fix that in the comments and you could also, when you're writing the captions or the headings about the the um, the post that you're going to post, you could say things that are important, like "Oh, I said that it was red, but I really meant blue." So just note that, or you know, little notes. You could always fix that. But it's better to get through the video than to you know get bogged down with something that's really not important. The most important thing is that you get the video done and people see your stuff. They want to see what you have and why your shop is freaking awesome. Make sure to have good lighting. Consider setting a Facebook event up. So you could set on Facebook event, it shows up on your page as like a calendar, and let the world know that you're doing a video. If you know you're doing it next week, get it out there sooner. Consider even paying to advertise with Facebook so you get more people watching. It might be worth the investment. If you win, you could win a credit for $1,250. That's not a bad deal. Maybe worth it. Again, set yourself up for success. Don't leave loose ends where you're going to get bogged down. Those things are the things that kill you. If you're feeling good and calm, it should go smoothly. This is your quilt shop you're in every day. You know it by the back of your head, your hand, and you could speak about everything. Just be calm. You guys know this. You got it. Just make believe you're talking with your customers. It's very easy. Don't forget to smile. Everyone wants to see a good smile. Don't have a bitter beer face and, and look all, all wound up because you're doing the video. You got to smile. Put a sign up on top of the camera that says smile. And don't forget, let the person who's taking the video of you make you smile. Make them do one of these to you. But smiling is important. People like smiling people. They are attracted to that. But bitter beer faces, nobody wants any of that. Get it rid of all the extraneous noises, music, pets, whatever, ringers, doorbells, whatever you think could be a distraction, get rid of it just temporarily so you could do a video and be zen. The mindset is so important. Be mindful that you're gonna succeed and you're gonna put together a good video or the best possible video that you could put together on this day. Uh, you could consider uh, making the video in the morning or in the night or when nobody's in your shop. Do a test run so you know where you're going to stand and you know where you're going to move and you know which signs you're going to be on. You know, walk, do a walkthrough. It's not a big deal. Consider strategic spots in your shop that will allow for you to put up signage uh, and other things that are important in the background. If you have a very important sign, make sure it's sitting right here so everyone can see and keep it up there for a little bit so they can read even if they're very slow readers. You want to keep um, your viewers interested at all times. So you want constant visual stimulation. In this case, it's fabric. Show fabric, show quilts. If you're bending down to tie your shoe in the middle of the video, tell your camera person to go pan across all the quilts you have hanging on the wall. That's all we need. 
Just keep them interested. Once you step away and, and it's boring, you know, if I go like this, you're bored and you want to leave. You, you go off right, right when that happens. So keep that in mind and try to make sure you have something interesting on the screen at all times. And that's also, you need to keep moving. You don't want to have the same thing in the background for the whole, you know, for 20 minutes. Um, all right. Consider tidying up your shop or making special displays. Be creative with signage. Keep signage concise. So this is what I tell people. When you're making your video, highlight, think of three to five things you want to highlight. And those things will guide you through your talk. Because you're going to plan, let's say it's three things and you're going for, nine, for ten minutes or nine minutes. Each thing you're going to discuss for three minutes, give or take. Uh, it's Sue Fenwick, it's for everyone. Everyone could do this. Um, when making your video, focus on three to five highlights and let that guide you through. Like I'm going to go start over here on our blocks of the month and then I'm going to walk to um, our sewing room. But before I get there, I'm going to hit for 20 seconds. I'm just going to hit this little area where we have novelties or tchotchkes or something else. So plan it out and, and almost break it down so you know exactly what you're doing. But again, highlight three to five things and keep them on one to two minutes and that'll guide you right through. Just go, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe on the way I'm going to pick up a couple small things. It's a perfect thing to keep you on pace. Don't overdo it and think you're going to be able to get six or seven things in there if they're all going to be substantial and you're going to have to talk for more than a minute about those items. Um, sometimes, you know, the pictures speak more than the words and, and sometimes that's all you really need to just show a quilt. Our industry is about showing. Offer a special item. So this is important. So if you're not going to win, I mean, and listen, only five people are going to win, but everyone can win because you can sell or you could practice video, which is going to help you do your next video, but you could sell on these videos. Put something up, a unique kit to your shop, a unique fabric to your shop. When I was in Alaska over the summer, um, there was one shop in Skagway. I think it was the only shop, and I'm totally drawing a blank on the name, but they had all these custom batiks with, with um, Alaska motifs on them. Nobody else has those. That's what you got to show. Are you an author? Are you, did you write a book? Did you write a, do you have a tool that you made? Is there something that you're known for? Show us. Tell us. That is the most important thing. But in any case, sell something. Sell two things. Sell three things. And the worst that could happen is you won't sell anything. But you could try. And I think... I would have to say that a lot of people who did these videos, and I'm not going to ask right now, but a lot of people who these, do these videos probably look back and say, wow, I'm glad I did that because now I'm doing video all the time. Wow, I'm glad I did that because I didn't know that I could do, um, that I could sell online. I'm glad I did that just because I'm now more comfortable and I realize it's not that hard and I can do video and it can help my business. This is, you know, everything's global now. This is important. Social media is huge, especially now that we're in quarantine. I mean, I've never seen so many people on their phones all the time, and they're looking at stuff, and a lot of people are looking at your stuff. So put stuff out there for them to look at and put something out there for them to buy. Just make sure that you have enough inventory. You don't want an item that you only have one left, and then you get people that are angry with you. So again, regardless of whether you win the contest or not, you might as well try to sell some products. Selling is like the cure-all. It, it's, it's, it solves everything. Um, as, as I always tell this story, when I first came into the business, my dad said to me, Scott, you sell and everything else will work itself out. And that's so true because if you don't have sales, you really don't have anything except expenses. So focus on selling, 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 selling. All right. Feature your clubs, your classes, special tools or patterns you created, an event you have coming up. Maybe you have a huge event. Maybe Tula Pink's coming to your shop. Maybe Kafe's coming. Maybe Anna Marie Horner. Maybe Kim Deal. Maybe Pepper Corey is coming. What's going on at your shop? Why should we come to you? Why should we buy from you? Show us why. Um, so, book you've written that helps you shop special. And again, you guys are special. Don't forget that. You are special. You're good at what you do. You have a great shop and you have a good business and you should be proud of it and you should be showing it for the world. So uh, I see Sue Fenwick is asking, but for online shops, I'm right here. You can show us your website front page. You can do a quick navigation of what products you have. You can show us your inventory, your warehouse, your packing process, how quickly and efficiently you ship, how to order online, whatever you guys want. 
Uh, as long as you show some fabric, it's fair game. We want to, I don't want to leave anyone out. I, I, we're more about being inclusive than exclusive. So that's a good one. All right. So of course, one thing that I want from you is I want you to feature as much Jaftex fabric as possible. That is given. You guys know that always. Um, and after you post your video, this it doesn't end. Like when you're done with your video and you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I could go out and go to the bar and have a drink now because I finished my video. I was so stressing. I haven't slept for the last month. What am I going to do? It's not over, but the, the hard part is over. The easy part is coming. You then need to engage. Uh, when I went to the social media conference uh, several years ago with Jen and Vanessa, they said engage. When people write questions on a post that you have on your site, they don't want them there up for they don't want them up there for their health. They want them up there because they have a question and they want you to answer it. So answer it. Engage with them. People want people to engage with them. I mean, that could be all the difference between you getting an order from someone online and you not getting an order from someone online. So this is a great opportunity to answer questions, tell people more about things that you may have missed or not gone into great detail on the video. It's also a good time to share photos. So this is a perfect example. So I was at a shop in Wisconsin and we I did the video. It was when I was doing the video before we came up with this challenge. And... Um, and uh, one of the people called uh, or on the video, they were like, oh my God, I saw some awesome cats. So instead of going to do a video of the cats, the owner went in, she took a photograph of all the cat prints and she posted them right up there for the person's answer. The person called and said, oh my God, I see the cat that I want. And she made the sale. She, so she made a sale. So engage. Don't ignore. Keep your eye on the post. Keep looking at it. Look for, you know, Facebook has those things where they say, hey, uh, you know, someone com commented on your post or someone mentioned you. Look for that and answer the questions. People want don't want to be ignored. And this is what small quilt shops are about. Service. That's the difference between you guys and Walmart and Joann's and all them. Engage. Do that. Hire someone to do that. Have someone in your staff doing it. But make sure to and do that. And that doesn't just apply to this. That applies to everything. Don't just post things on social and leave them hanging there. Answer questions. Be engaged with people. Play around. They want that. They don't want to just be there and like, you know, talk to deaf ears. Nobody wants that. Uh, last but not least on, on the instructions and stuff like that, talk about charity. Our industry is very charitable. Uh, my family, our business, we are very charitable. I have that tied right into my everything. You guys know I give sewing machines. I donate to charity. We donate for um, mask making, wh whatever the case is. What do you do? Tell us. We want to know. Why should I shop at you? Someone who does charity has a good heart. I want to go shop with them. So um, it's so important to include that. So talk about a local group that comes to you and they make things, or you give a discount to all of them, or you go every Sunday and make pillowcases for some, whatever it is. People want to hear about that. They want to hear that you're not just about the sale. They want to know that you're a person, a human being with a heart, and you care about more than just making money. You want to help other people. And that is a big thing about our industry, which is very different than other industries. All right, so the last thing I say is please have fun and don't stress, okay? this You will get through this just like everyone else before us who's done a video who is not a natural at doing this. Let's see, 3 o'clock. All right, I'm going to try to breeze through the rest. Uh, the winner, again, will be the one with the most views attained as of 8 p.m. Eastern time on August 30th. So therefore, it would be in your best interest to get as many of your fans and followers involved. No previous winners can, can win again. So unfortunately, that leaves out the old country store and Deb Luttrell. Um, I'm totally drawing a blank on her name, but she'll know. Stitch in Heaven. Uh, you also might want to get your video up sooner rather than later. So more people could see it. The longer it's up, the more chances you have of more views. So this year... Uh, the grand prize is going, so the prizes in the past have been me and fabric. So basically not me like me, but me, I go to your shop. Uh, we did a speaking event. We, uh, the old country store had like 350 people there. They did a pop-up shop. Um, I definitely will donate some fabric to you to give away. Um, I spent the day at the shop. We did another shop tour, just other things just to, you know, 
continue it and really make it big. I would say that Dean and, and Jan at the Old Country Store would have to say that they were probably pleased and potentially people are still talking about the videos and the events and all that stuff. So I would love for you to have a chance to do that. If the world is normal and COVID is not ruining everything, I will go to your shop if you are the winner and we could plan some event. Um, if it's not, which is all based on my judgment, I will not do that and you will just get a credit for $1,250. Um, all right, so let's see. It did all that. Free fabric. Everything will be, if, I, if, I, if you win, uh, all everything will be at my expense, all the traveling and what have you. So here we go. So, so first prize is $1,250 credit for any of our companies, however you want to use it, on new orders only, not old orders to use the credit. Uh, $2,000, um, sorry, second place is $1,000, third place is $750. Fourth place is five hundred, and fifth place is two fifty. By the way, I'm talking super fast. I'm talking all by myself. It's a half hour. I'm talking straight. I'm getting really dry, so keep that in mind before you want to drink a lot of water and stuff like that. You mentioned getting up sooner. May not may want to clarify. Yeah, the vi I would say don't do the videos. I would do it one day before August first at the most, and it can't have any. Um, it can't have any uh, likes before or uh, views before we um, post it. So you might want to hide it or save it or something like that. Um, but I would say if you just wait till August 1st, uh, it's probably not a bad do. So anyway, 1250, 1000, 750, 500, 250. Okay? Five prizes, not a bad deal. All right. The fine print. This is, uh, you could read this all yourself on the blog. Uh, the one thing I will say is you must be in good financial standing with all the Jaftex companies to win. So please get all those old bills cleaned up. All right, questions. You have questions. They Questions should be posted on the comment section of, of the blog or on the Facebook posts on the retailer page. We will be watching for those questions. Please limit the communication with me directly. I will try to, I want all the questions answered so everybody could see the answers and not just the person asking me. So um, that is important. Wow, that was it. That was not as long as I expected. So that's a good thing. All right, so, so that's really it. I hope that I encourage you to do this I, again. I sucked on video. I was nervous. I was sweaty pits. I was, you know, my hands were sweating. I could barely hold anything. You got to just get past that. This is going to be great for you. It's a good life experience. It's a growth experience. And you know what? You'll do one video and you'll be like, wow, this really wasn't that hard. And I need to use more video. There are lots of shops out there um, capitalizing on video really well, um, making good money, surviving through coronavirus and things like that. So don't be afraid. Um, we now have, um, see, there you go. Christina Dowdy saying it's been, it's been a uh, game changer. Hey, Christina, how are you? Um, now I lost track of what I was saying. Um, but don't be afraid. You guys could totally do this. I, I think you will be very happy. Um, and we now have almost 1,400 shops on. I think the first year we had about 110 shops do it. And then the second year, 140. I'm hoping we get a lot more. And I hope I encourage you and inspired you to do it and made you feel that it's really not that hard because it really isn't. Um, if you have any questions about Facebook Lives, just in general, you could you could ask me, you could post it on the retailer page. I am no expert. I'm always trying to get better and you could do the same. But do yourself a favor, test it out. What You don't really have a lot to lose and you do have stuff to gain. You can make a sale, you can win a prize, you could have me come to your shop and we can have an event and you know, have, you know, bring a lot of interest in your shop. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention before I go is the plan was to do the Scott sent me challenge right after this video challenge. So after we show you all these amazing shops, we now challenge all the consumers to visit as many shops as they can in the next uh, three months after that. However, if, um, if coronavirus throws a wrench in this, we are going to have to redo and refigure out Scott sent me or just put it off. Um, but I don't want to do Scott sent me if people are going to be putting themselves at risks. Uh, I'm not about that. And I don't think it's that important right now. And we could always do it at a better time. Or my team and I will try to come up with some sort, some sort of other um, event that can take its place. 
Um, but I don't know. It's a hard one to beat. But keep in mind, last thing I want to tell you. Last year, the winner of the Scott Sent Me Challenge visited over 210 quilt shops. I think it was 217. And she spent like six or seven thousand dollars. So this is real money. A lot of these crazy quilters running around, hitting all these shops, spending money, and they're screaming Scott sent me. This is a beautiful thing. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. I hope you motivate to do this video. Love you guys. Peace out. Have a great week. Happy July 4th. Be safe. Keep wearing those masks. Bye.